Not all our culture is rosy. There are some negative practices. The idea of fem female genital mutilation, especially in that part of uh, Amudat, West Pokot, that's a negative culture which traumatizes the young girls. We have also this culture, reckless culture of uh, raiding. This must stop. Other tribes used raid in the 18th century. But for some reason, among the Atakari peoples, we are still in the business of stealing other people's cows. And this has to stop. And I think that's why it says we need to audit our cultures. Those which are positive, we keep them. Those which are negative, we get rid of them because cultures evolve. They are dynamic. They are not static, as I said. The Atakari people means people from Ethiopia, from Kenya, the Turkana, the Pokot, come to South Sudan, the Nyangatom, the Toposa, the Karamojong in Uganda. We are one person. So if we keep our identity in our culture, we shall remain very peaceful and we shall grow. My humble request to other brothers of mine, can we consolidate this peace? Can we consolidate so that we get back to where we originated from, staying together as a family? And that the issues of culture should be maintained, should be promoted because they make us build co cohesion with our neighbors and also it brings element of peace that bring all our communities together. I've been at the forefront really talking about issues of disarmament. That, uh, that will be the only way we can uh, live at peace. In as long as uh, people are carrying illegal firearms, I think we will continue uh, on and off discussing issues of disarmament, issues of killings, issues of lost properties or livestock, something like that. So we need the East African community to come together and start discussing with a common focus and goal the issues of disarmament together.